Awesome. Let's get it on. Oh shit. What's up, Israel? I'm gonna call my reaction to a uh, new microspasm. And it looks, uh, I look wider than I am. It's just because the screen's uh, really bright. So, let's get it popping. Me, this is Chris McCauley, and we have to introduce it. That's me. <laughs> no, we don't get to introduce it anymore. What it's the my fuck? Podcast. And here next to me, we have our sexy new co host. We didn't even my, know. It's my Kevin Serrano was back. Okay. Oh, my, all the guys great. that are listening right now, Kevin Serrano was back in our um, in our high school episode. For all those who listen, that's how you should introduce a uh, uh, returning fucking gent. <laughs> We're in a room full of goddamn chimps right now. <laughs> this is not a podcast. Also, uh, Rachel's here. Say hello, Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Drugs won the Twitter poll too, but nobody <laughs> fucking cares about drugs. Seeing as to how no one in this room actively uses or partakes in <laughs> drug culture, right. we're not doing that. Uh, We've all graduated by now. So we can all have a talk about graduation and right. our experiences. Right, but it doesn't mean it, it doesn't mean that we don't, can't talk about things that we don't have experiences on. We've never shot up a school, but we did a fucking episode about <laughs> shooting <laughs> up schools. <laughs> Graduation for me, it was not special at all. I don't know why. I just felt nothing. I felt you're nothing. <laughs> you're valedictorian. You go up there. You have a speech plan. Whatever. It's your fucking moment, dude. And you feel nothing. You're just sitting there, <laughs> fucking blank face. Ladies and gentlemen, the valedictorian for the class of 2018. Floyd, money, Mayweather. Be thankful for all those that are here tonight, and all those that really wanted to be here but couldn't. Oh, look at Kevin. I smiled the entire time I was delivering my speech, but like the entire graduation in itself, like in general, was just kind of. Kevin's like, Kevin's speech went on for like ten minutes. Nine minutes. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Kevin's speech was not a bunch of stupid stuff. It was. So we're gathered here today because we all worked really hard, and uh, everyone's gonna go our separate ways. But you know, high school it was it was cool, and we all learned stuff and. You know me, I'm Kevin. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with my life, but here's what I'm gonna There's do with my life after Kevin high school. Speaking. And it just went on like I that don't know for like why ten we need minutes. Trump. I love you, Kevin. It was very eloquent, but there was a point where I started looking for a watch, man. <laughs> I know, I got you. I mean, even I was looking for a watch. You see, I, honestly, I felt like I was repeating myself because I wrote in three days, right? The best part of Kevin's speech is when he first went up to stand. Fucking stand. stand. I, you, I knew you would put some Eminem stand shit in there. I knew that. Did I fucking graduate? <laughs> I see the look on her face like the fuck are I'm you a talking girl, about? But I fucking graduated. Wait, what did the I'm a girl have to do with the graduating part? Uh, females don't have good brains. <laughs> How was your graduation experience? A girl almost oh, died, so pretty, pretty sweet. And did she not have a good brain? If she almost died, one hundred percent did not have a good brain. She's diabetic, like super diabetic. <laughs> and the the what? You are funny, but the way you just looked at me when you said that, <laughs> like she's diabetic, like you wanted me to laugh at that. The staff refused her her medicine, like from her dad, and it's mega hot <laughs> in a row, no water, nothing. So we're sitting, ninety degree weather, Sutton just feeding on it. She passed out. And her heart stopped, and they had to like no, use the AED fuck. fucking twice. It was, it was a then, good speech. That's a girl, not doctor. Like, every school I ever got was soccer, and I was called racist. And I'm like, wait, I played <laughs> soccer from seven to fourteen, and I didn't mention wait, soccer. How, how do they call you racist? Because I didn't mention soccer. But well, I was right, right. But I mentioned every sport. So there, but soccer. they're connecting a race to the sport, so they're racist, <laughs> perhaps. But then I was the one called racist. All you see, there were drinks around. Racist. You were called a rapist. <laughs> racist. That's not racist. I'm not racist. <laughs> that's dumb. You know, so when you talked about. Tennis, we're all like the tall white kids, like perfect. Thank you, thank you for mentioning my sport. Kevin. But then when you forgot soccer, all the people were like, "What the fuck? This Mexican dude isn't talking about soccer. What's wrong with him? I bet he's racist." Project Grab was a lot of fun. Let me tell you, it was me, Kevin, and Caleb all night long hanging out. We stayed up all night playing at it's. Laser Caleb tag. did not stay up all night. He passed out at the mini bowling. <laughs> he slept in the fucking seat. There's <laughs> real bowling, and then there's like the mini, like the kids bowling, like the the pins are attached to strings that go to the top. <laughs> So we we go over there to like chill or something like that, and I and I just lay down in the middle of the bowling lane. Like no one's there, right? Yeah. So I just lay down in the mini bowling lane. I'm was, like, dude, those floors are was disgusting. Not, yeah. Do you want to sleep there? And Caleb's like, mm. and I got up. I go to the fucking seat. I woke up. I was so sticky, and I didn't want to like move. My hands were sticking to my leg and shit. It was so fucking gross. All right, Caleb, tell us your experience in graduation. I really uh, want to hear this. Uh, okay. So uh -oh. I'm Caleb King, right? And everybody, everybody, like in this school. Wait, wait, you. Are yes. Caleb King. Right. The Caleb King. Right. Comedy God. Right. That's that's you? Just my entire high school experience, I'm getting in trouble, like I'm doing goofy shit. 
Like my assistant principals are not, they're not very fond That's of your me. entire school career. Teachers, principals have always hated your ass. <laughs> I wanted to be class president, but because of my naughty Twitter, they wouldn't let me be class president. Then I ran for homecoming king, and then because I said the F word to a girl who turned in my naughty Twitter, they wouldn't let me run for homecoming king. But then I ran for prom king and won prom king, because they couldn't do anything about it after that. As soon as I won prom king, I go up there, everybody's fucking losing their shit, right? Like the brains are fucking falling out of their ears. I go up, they go, Speech, speech, speech. I, I get the mic from the DJ and then Mrs. fucking, what's her face? Forgot her name. But she walks up there, cuts off the mic. I don't get to talk. <laughs> but then I just yell, fuck yeah. And then everybody just <laughs> loses their <laughs> shit. Whenever I edit this podcast, I'm gonna have to go back and look at every little fucking splodge of where it fucking distorts the <laughs> mic. And I'm gonna have to quiet that down. Just just finish the rest of the. I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting. Let's be honest here. You don't edit the fucking podcast. Yes, I fucking the amount of times the podcast. you've uploaded the show. Podcast. Fuck, I gotta edit this out. Fuck, I gotta edit this out in the podcast. And we all know you didn't fucking edit that out because we just fucking heard oh, it. Fucking bet. You don't edit the fucking podcast. You don't edit the fucking podcast. And you, you sit on the podcast for a fucking week, bet. for two fucking weeks, for a month, and you don't do shit. That's because you're, you're fucking lazy. And unmotivated. And, and now they said that. You said that. Chill pill. But then, I, I, as soon as I, <laughs> that uh, was I really was good. Whatever. That's the last event. I didn't get in trouble after that. Day of graduation. Caleb King wakes up. I'm scrambling for a white shirt because I fuck. I forgot that I didn't own one. I grab my little brother's white shirt that just was too big on him. What's that from? I'm scrambling for a tie. My mom's fucking pissed at me. She's yelling. I lost my fucking cap, and I'm like, everything's fucked, right? But I do remember one thing, and that's this big ass carrot, and it's fucking like the size of my god. Damn arm. I strap it inside of my shirt. Then I put my gown over it. I show up to fucking graduation. No one's in their gown. Everyone's in their white shirt or like their fucking slutty dresses. And there's fucking two <laughs> cops. No, no, no. Two <laughs> cops per like person. They make you take off the gown, basically search you. I distract the cop. I'm talking to him. I'm making eye contact so he looks at me and not like whatever I'm fucking doing with my gown when I'm taking it off. And as soon as he starts talking about his family, I'm like, okay, this guy's fucking gone. Like he doesn't give a fuck. Like he's like, oh yeah, my son's in the Navy or whatever. They're like, okay, you're you're good. Oh, carrot that's now sweaty in my goddamn arm. <laughs> Arm. They call my name. Our assistant principal on the front that shakes your hand first before your name's called. It's my turn. She shakes my hand. Undo my little button so that the carrot is like ready to go. This is like Assassin's Creed style. Right. Like, I was sitting in the bleachers and I knew that this was going to happen and I was like, I can't wait. I found a new picture for like, Chris, Caleb. Screen. I know, it's and really good. Assassin's Creed a carrot out of his pocket. And she looks at me dead in the eyes. She gets really close to me. She goes, make the right decision, Caleb. She fucking knows like what I'm doing. She doesn't know what I'm doing. Fuck off. I just nod my head. I go up the stairs. Caleb, Ryan, King. Boom. Fucking carrot. I'm, 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 like, I'm, <laughs> yes. I'm top of the carrot. Like, what's up, dog? And I fucking walk up to Paul House. And then I'm like, like I know up, you're dog? disappointed. And then he's just, he's just like fucking shaking his hand. He's so fucking pissed. He's like, shake my hand. I shake his hand. And I walk up to Miss Scott. And then she, and she's like, put that away. Put that away right now. And then I'm like, you want to bite? And I, I fucking like, give it to her. I'm like, <laughs> she was so fucking pissed. She was like, so red. She fucking grabs the fuck out of it. And then like, hands it off. Like a football handoff. Like, and she hands it off to the suit council. All like, just not in their head in unison like the fucking kid next door i'm walking with my friend scott and then we're trying to find our family right after graduation ends and i see paul house he starts speed walking <laughs> i'm like okay scott fucking go go and then we're just fucking dodging like assassin creed actually like through crowds like this is like, this creed is so right is the only analogy for this yeah th this is actually right like hey, my Ubisoft, graduation was can assassin we get, like creed. A, a special dlc for caleb for King. Caleb's graduation. Graduation. <laughs> go back in creed. time like it's my great 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 grandson and he's like going back in time back to my fucking graduation <laughs> he has to like fucking escape paul house fuck dude that was so awesome that Oh, it was it was just so cool. It was just so cool. So uh my blood was fucking rushing. Why wasn't I invited to your graduation? You were. No, I wasn't. Okay, then you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was the best fucking episode so far. There we go. Is your all that was outstanding. I didn't even eight. introduce it. Okay, so and my notes are that the beginning starts a little bit too fast, and so people are like probably gonna try it, uh, not gonna catch on pretty fast. But that was fucking nice. Like Amen. these edits in between, I've gotten so smooth, and you've improved your editing so much. Like this shit, this is some, this is the shit, Israel. Real this is the good. best thumbnail. Also, <laughs> I'm I'm leaving a fat like on this video. <laughs> Give me a sec. Let me go back and look at this thumbnail. I can't confirm it's our best thumbnail. Where'd it go? Uh, refresh the page. Is it unlisted? Might it be unlisted? Check. Might, back. Oh, it might be. 
Is it Israel not upload it yet? It might not. He might be waiting for our approval. Yeah, it is unlisted. Yeah, it is unlisted. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can find this. The thumbnail. Okay, it's in my. It's in the Twitter messages. Let me see. See, look at that. Yeah, you can just click There's on that nice tweet. There's a nice contrast. You just click on that tweet. I can click okay. on it. Yeah. Look, there's a nice contrast. Again, a little bit of a little bit of shadow on the text. It could use some work, but again, this is our best thumbnail. There's a nice background to it. Nothing's kind of overlapping. I don't know why the fuck Rachel was in this podcast. <laughs> because Kevin brought her into the show. And but she had some good quotes. Fantastic episode. That was that was very nice. That's our best episode yet. Keep that shit coming. That's gold. That is gold. Dalton, you liked it? I brought, yeah. It was pretty. It's pretty cool. Hey, man. My name's Dalton. Nice to meet you. Uh, it was fucking wild. I loved the ending where everything was just kind of like, like, it, it met, it met each other. Sorry, I'm kind of tipsy. But it, like, it met each other, or, or the scenes met each other pretty well. Where, like, you know, it was, it was lo- lots of great comedic timing. Lots of great comedic yeah, timing. Yeah, your, your comedic timing is on point with that. And the, and the edits aren't, like, super jagged and, like, because in a couple of old episodes, I'd see like one thing just immediately abruptly cut from the other one. But you kept it smooth and rolling. Even when it was getting really fast, you kept things coming in and out of the frame and stuff like that. And, and that's really good habit to, to make. So, fantastic work, Israel. Um, fucking nice, dude. Fucking nice, dude.